Hey there, and welcome to the art program. I'm Bonnie, and I'm going to be your facilitator throughout this journey. You have essentially signed up to learning how to paint a beautiful, meaningful animal onto a piece of paper, a beautiful piece of paper with acrylics and inks. And at the end of this journey, you're going to have your very own artwork that you've created that's going to look really stunning and beautiful and probably surprise you at your level of skill that you're going to develop over this time. So it's no worries if you're a beginner, you've never touched a paintbrush, or if you're an intermediate um, or experienced and wanting to learn all uh, someone else's tips and tricks or a different technique that maybe you haven't tried before. Mm -hmm. Uh, I started animal dreaming painting because I just believe that animals are so mystical and magical and beautiful and I really believe that they hold all these different qualities and messages that we can see as kind of guidance and support and this painting that you have up in your house is going to be that reminder of whatever that animal means to you and emanates that throughout your house um, and yeah the message the painting may reveal its messages and meanings as it goes and will have a point in the course where we actually go through that meaning of that animal in tribal cultures they see animals as very significant and meaningful and often they would assign an animal totem to each person of the tribe and that this animal's qualities would be there to support them throughout their entire life and i'm also pulling on that that maybe there's some sort of animal totem that might be calling you and it can change over phases of your life um, over seasons of what's happening in your life, of, of what might be calling and coming into your life. Shamans also have this connection of animals and symbolism. And you can see out in the world that there's many times where animals and what they re represent um, is thought as significant and sacred. For example, if you look at a horse, I see horses as very elegant and steady and free and powerful. Um, and then you compare it to something like a dolphin. And a dolphin is more playful and creative and intelligent and graceful and loving. Uh, and then you compare it to something like a rhino and it's very strong and fierce and direct and grounded and maybe this kind of leadership qualities and so I actually have an animal symbolism book where I go through and see all the different symbolism of animals but you can also go onto google and just search the animal that you're interested in and what its symbolism is so that's a lot about animals <laughs> um, you're actually going to find out how to choose your animal and how to choose the image or the reference that you're going to use to paint this beautiful painting with in the next video. So I'll go through things such as what to choose and what not to choose, the, looking at the colour, the composition, the position of the animal, whether it will look good when you paint it, whether it will be easy or tricky so that you can really find an image that is exactly what you want to paint and that will come out with the best result. And I'll show you a, a few different ways to choose an animal that is meaning for you, meaningful for you, including taking you through a dreaming meditation where you can tap into it more etherically. So the technique that you're going to be learning is called, we could say, abstract to realism. And in, we're going to work with a very free and playful abstract background. And as we come into the foreground, which will be the animal, we're going to bring that into form and refinement. And along this journey, you're going to learn so many things, including composition, color harmony, how to select a beautiful color palette, how to get inspiration from other artists, color palettes or the way that they do things in their artwork and bring that into yours. I'm going to teach you abstract techniques 
I'm going to show you how to create form using layers, using shadows and contrast, um, line, brushwork. I'm going to show you some uh, easy uh, ways to transfer your image onto your paper if you don't know how to sketch. And then I'm going to give some really basic sketching skills if you want to give that a go. But we're going to go for the easy and way in this program for those who are really beginners and just want to be able to paint something really realistic and beautiful without needing to do probably sketching for six months to really get good at it. I'm also going to teach you other things like how to access flow state, how to have some tools and processes for your mind and your body to get into this creative flow, to get out of fear, to overcome resistance, to overcome doubt. Because when you paint, you, this inner dialogue can come up that can cause a little bit of fear or resistance or it's not very good. And I'm going to teach you some simple practices and how to get through that. And then towards the end, we're going to look into how to refine your piece, how to critique your piece, how to do some fun, creative mark ma making, which will make your piece really unique. And we're going to look at what your animal painting means to you. So this may sound a lot uh, for an intro, but honestly, I'm going to take you through step by step, layer by layer. And so it will make sense as we go along, I'm just going to give you the piece of information for the layer that you're working on in that moment. And then when you get to the next layer, I'm going to give you the information for that layer. And so it's going to make a lot of sense as you go through the process. I hope you really enjoy creating this beautiful animal dreaming artwork. And I hope that it's really meaningful to you and that you learn a lot of new skills and that you feel much more confident and that you feel that you could continue your own painting practice when you go home, that you have the basic skills now to actually create something beautiful for yourself. So thank you so much for joining this course and I hope you really love it.